People all over the country are showing their support for the family of Jacob Wetterling. Pictures of lit porch lights are flooding social media in memory of Jacob. On a Facebook page dedicated to Jacob's family, there's an outpouring of support from people all over the world. I posted this photo of my porch on Facebook on Saturday night. And I tell you what, I have just been uh, extremely touched by the comments and the number of shares. This post went 726 shares, 15,000 likes, wow. people posting their own uh, porch from whatever city they live in all over the country and all over the world. It's really interesting how people have, uh, I, I think the loss of Jacob so many years ago has been part of the collective soul of this state. Mm -hmm. And even people who lived here and moved on to another state, you still, everyone always wondered, what what happened? What happened to Jacob? How could you have this uh, case where the police were called so soon after and it's been this mystery for so long? It's just tough for people to get their arms around and Allie doing something as tangible as turning your light on. I think it's meaningful for people. Yeah, absolutely. Just talking with a lot of friends who were in grade school when Jacob was taken, they this story just really hit home with them. And I didn't live in Minnesota when he was kidnapped, but I know that growing up in Colorado, my mom was very strict about if I went to a neighbor's home, I always mm -hmm. had to call when I got there. Sure. And I always wondered why as a kid, and then now, as an adult, I understand, you understand why. understand a little more. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. I mean, just looking at the last couple of comments, Albuquerque, New Mexico, yeah. Bradenton, Florida, Denver, mm -hmm. Colorado. Amazing. It is really Franklin, Tennessee. I mean, it's pretty amazing. It's touching people all around the country. And I think it's because of that, that sense of not having an answer. You think of the Wetterlings, and for so long, Matt, 27 they, years, 27 years yeah. they, didn't, they just didn't know, and now they know. I think that's what's so striking about this case. With that amount of time, you don't expect a resolution like this. You just yeah. kind of expect it to just be an unknown. So to finally have that, I think that's what struck a lot of people, just putting yourself in those yeah. shoes. Yeah. Jason, I wanted to ask you, because part of what hit me about your Facebook post in particular is that you sat down and talked to your kids, mm -hmm. 8 and 11 years old. Yeah. How did that conversation go Well, you them? know, Seth is the same age that Jacob was yeah. when he was uh, kidnapped. And we think about parenting-wise, like letting your kids, how much freedom do you give them? And we've never wanted to be scared. In this business, you get so close to all the yeah. worst things that happen. Right. Mm -hmm. and we don't want our kids to be afraid, but we just explain to the kids what happened and how rare it is for a stranger to kidnap someone. Even though that is rare, like as a parent though, that's something that just sticks there in the back of your mind. Yeah, you can't, you just can't live your life that way though. There's yeah. a chance of a million terrible things happening. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is exactly what uh, uh, Patty and Jerry Wetterling did, which is uh, look at rational risk and ways you can make life better. And that's what they've done. I mean, the efforts that they've put in place to have a network where parents who've had kids kidnapped yeah. can come together mm -hmm. and have resources and the changes, the Amber Alert, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing what they've done, it really is. They've so, really become a voice for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that, I mean, they'll never have full peace, they'll never have full closure, but the fact that at least they have an answer, yeah. I think is, is it makes me feel better, mm -hmm. you know?